Okay, for our next question, it talks about um, tutors and cast bots and also uh, starts asking you how many um, arrangements or combinations we can have and things like that. Now, the nature of the question tells us that we've got six tutors and there's six cast bots. The tutors all tutor methods, physics, chemistry, biology, English, and specialist maths. And four pretty good subjects there and two kind of average ones. Um, now, first question tells us that anyone can park anywhere. There's no restrictions. Second question tells us that um, the maths and physics teacher have to park next to each other. Makes sense. Oh, sorry, methods and physics. That makes sense because a lot of the stuff you're doing methods, you apply practically in physics. <coughs> and then, um, the, the part C, the, the, the science teacher must be wanting to get together and so we've got our biology, chemistry and physics teachers parking next to each other. A D, I haven't been able to work out. Um... So I'll, I'll sort that out when I can, but let's have a look at it. If anyone can park anywhere in A, so well that means we've got our six spots. And here we can have any one of our six. Then we've got to reduce that by one. We've got to reduce it by two, by three, by four, and by five. Because we've got... Because here we'll have five tutors left, four tutors left, three tutors left, two tutors left, and one tutor left. And as a result, this ends up being six, whoops, try and draw with the uh, pointer, six factorial. Now, if our methods and physics teacher have to be stand, have to park next to each other, we can set that up again. And... What we do, we'll block out this and say that has got to be for methods and physics. As a result of that, what we've got then is we've got um, a total of one, two, three, four, and five different groups. So we only had six, now we've got five. So because of that, <coughs> this is the being. 5 factorial, because we're going to have 5 cars here, uh, 5 people can park there, any of 4, any of 3, any of 2, and then we've got our 1 there. Now, because of that, these two can be arranged either maths and physics, or they can be arranged as physics and methods. So, we have to multiply this by 2 factorial to make it work. So, that's what we get, um, and that's how we go about solving that. Now, we want to know the process. These both were how many? Here we want to know the probability of our um, of our, of our science teachers parking next to each other. So, to do that, what we have is... Um, same setup again. Our six spots. And from there, we know that we've got to have our three science teachers together. So I'm going to block out three of them and say so that is our B, C and P. So as a result we've got one group here and we've got two, three, four. So because of that we have four factorial times we've got three options here. So then we arrange three number of ways and then to find the probability we put that over our total of anyone going anywhere and that is 6 factorial. So that gives our probability of, um, of the three science stages parking next to each other.